Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning to you. You know who that is right there, front and center. Oh. Annabelle Munoz. Oh. Annabelle Munoz in the neighborhood. She's in Paramount this morning. And we are going to find out how come it's Christmas. You know, last week it was Happy Haskell Day. <laughs> yeah. So maybe this is uh, Feliz Annabelle. Yes, Feliz Annabelle. Uh, we I, love I, I it. I don't know what's going on with Santa <laughs> and his helpers, but we're going to find out together. Yeah. Good morning. It's 4.30 in the morning. I'm Philip Palmer. And I'm Leslie Sykes. Thank you for joining us. Yes, we're in the neighborhood this morning with Annabelle Munoz. She's in Paramount. And uh, Leslie Lopez is off today, so Danny Romero yeah. is here. He Good morning. We are live in the city of Paramount. I'm with the Iceland Ice Cadets. It's bright and dark. If you want to join us, come on out. We'll be here all morning. Good morning, Leslie. Yes, ABC7 is in the neighborhood. And this morning we are in my hometown in Paramount. This is the pond. It just reopened. This is where the city has its Christmas tree lighting. And we're going to show you a little bit more in just a little bit. So stay tuned. It's Wednesday and we have the music means it's in the neighborhood uh, and we're going to check out the hometowns of our ABC 7 uh, eyewitness news anchors and reporters. And today it is Annabelle Munoz's turn. She joins us live from her hometown of Paramount. Annabelle, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Leslie and Philip. You were asking why is it Christmas in September? Well, let me tell you. Hello, everyone. So this train that you're looking at, this is the Santa train. You can see Santa's helpers and some passengers. This is one of my earliest childhood memories in the city. This train has been around since the 60s, and it goes to every little nook and cranny in the city so that Santa right here can deliver oh, some hello. goodies. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas from the city of Paramount. Santa, you've been doing this for a really long time. Talk to me about what it's like to go to these neighborhoods and see all of those smiling faces. Very amazing, very fun. Lots of fun. We've been doing it for 50 years, the city of Paramount. <laughs> Sorry. We get this out. is my childhood best friend. I didn't know she was going to be here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. This is Gloria Ibarra. Um, she got... High school together, sorry, sidetracking a little bit now. Um, most unique laugh in high school, you'll see why later. Santa, I apologize. <laughs> 50 years we've been doing it here in the city of Paramount. We give it 28,000 candy canes and apples, and we go out throughout the whole city. Lots of fun, lots of smiling faces. We have a great time. Thank you so much. So um, we're going to send it back to you. I'm going to catch up with Gloria, and we'll be back in a little bit. Oh, 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 how about how about Santa surprising yeah. oh, Annabelle? That is See? so cool. That's good stuff. That's good. <laughs> See, Santa does come in September. Look at that. That was. That See? Was. <laughs> That was took neat. Out I was wondering what she was screaming about. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's excellent. That's, That's cool. Great. Very cool. Santa and goes, wait, what? that little train goes to every nook and cranny in Paramount? I never knew that. Wow. Can you believe that? I, I, I thought maybe like a nook here, maybe not a cranny. Yeah, yeah. But they I, didn't about the crannies. Crannies. Yeah. I didn't know about the crannies. I didn't know about And Annabelle knows where the crannies are, too. There she does. There That's her she place. Knows That's her, That's her place. Time. In the neighborhood this morning, and today we're all about, oh, donuts. You know what? I've always liked Annabelle. Yes. Until now. <laughs> Why? What's she doing that? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Those Paramount are bite sized looking little things. And Bellflower, the hometowns of Annabelle Munoz. We're going to check in with her a little bit later. That That's goodness. a special donut place. That ain't just any old donut. No. Like you to know, five o'clock. Good morning. I'm Leslie Sykes. I'm Philip Palmer, and she's taunting us. Yes, she is. You know, Danny's my favorite now. <laughs> I didn't get to show you this earlier because Gloria here surprised me, but these are the treats Santa's and Santa's helpers hand out uh, during the Santa train, some candy canes and apples. I know, Philip, you wanted a donut, but I'll bring you back an apple and a candy cane. You too, Leslie. We're back in the neighborhood this morning talking about Pear Mountain Bellflower. And that's where Eyewitness News reporter Annabelle Munoz grew up. Today she's showing us some of what makes that place so special. From the time I was born, the city of Paramount was home. It's where my grandmother, Lolita, lived. 
My whole family and I spent summer days at the local pool, and years later, I came back to work there. Welcome to Paramount Pool. This is where I had my second favorite job after being a reporter, is being a lifeguard. You would be surprised about how many kids come here that have no way of knowing how to swim, just like you, what you have said yourself. When I was 10, we moved to Bellflower, where I attended Ramona Elementary. This was Yuri and Rebecca and Jesus. We believe we built futures in Bellflower, and the fact that we had a role in yours is amazing. Thank you um, so much. Some are um, teachers in our district, some are engineers, some are NFL football players, and some are journalists and on TV yes, like thank you. you so, much. So, so I am a buccaneer. Go Bucks! I ran through these halls a lot, constantly running late to my classes because some things never change. You might not remember me, but I remember you. I do, and he said Annabelle Munoz, and I was like, Oh my God, so you're nice. working for ABC. I am. How are you? Mrs. Nicoletti was my U.S. government teacher. It was one of my favorite courses. And this and is my class. This is your class, yes. That's this amazing. I'm right here. <laughs> What's with that makeup? I spent a lot of time both inside the ASB office when I was senior class president and outside of it when the cheerleaders would practice right over here. Mrs. Darling, an English teacher at BHS, was on the team with me. I remember we got in trouble at cheer camp. We did? We did, because <laughs> we were up past curfew. W-I-N, go for the win. Oh, I keep doing it wrong. You're messing it up, okay, Annabelle. Wait, so Before I left campus, I wanted to thank some of the people who take on one of the hardest jobs, our high school counselors. I love the students, the teachers. It's like a second home. I wanted to make a difference with the people around the local area. It's very meaningful, especially stories like yours. And a big part of why Bellflower was so special is because there was a number of people here that really cared, and I, and I really experienced that with you, so thank you How so sweet. much. That's very nice. It's true. That's nice. Oh my gosh. And let's bring in Annabelle. She <laughs> is live this morning in Paramount Annabelle. Hi. Hey. Yes, huge thank you to the city of Bellflower. Huge thank you to the city of Paramount, which is where we are right now. All of these lovely people got up so early to be here with us this morning, and this is a special city, let me tell you, and I have the city's mayor, Diane Martinez, with me. Thank you so much for being with us, Mayor. You were actually one of the first people I ever interviewed when I was in college, so thank you. What makes Paramount so special? I believe the people in this community make it special. We have our service clubs, our elected officials, our school board members, our fire department and sheriff's department. We all come together for a common goal, and that common goal is to bring a quality of life to the residents of this community. So a huge part of Paramount, something that I really love, is that it really invests in the children. This year we had Dia del Niño. You have all of these activities. How important is it for the city to invest in young people? It's very important to invest in this community. For several years, we have raised over a million dollars for our seniors for college scholarships. That's incredible. And we support our youngsters in pursuing their dreams in college. So kind of a funny story here. Um, that first interview I had with you, I don't remember. It was actually, or I don't know if you remember, we were right here for the Christmas tree lighting, and I was interviewing you. And so I held out the mic, and, and you were oh, like pulling it, and I was pulling it back, so we had a little tug of war. Do you remember? You know, I kind of, I vaguely remember. That's okay, but you did a great job today. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you to everyone, and this is not it. Woo! We are going to stay in the city of Paramount and bring you some more stories in just a little while. Thank you so much. Okay. Annabelle, <laughs> thanks, Annabelle. I mean, I just, the Danny, when you both, yeah. when you both guys did yeah. it, it, it's just so much fun to actually really see is. the communities, see where you grew up, right. talk to the people who watch her every day now. Yeah. And you know. yeah, exactly. And then people, they just hear about these communities. Maybe they have not been there, That's but right. these com little communities all across Southern California, yeah. they were great to grow up in. You know, I talked to friends from other parts of the country, you know, yeah. they're, 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 oh yeah, LA, it's all like, and, and right. they think LA is exactly. like, like, it's mm -hmm. like a 0.5% thing. It's all Hollywood or Beverly Hills. Exactly. It is, what we're showing is LA. Uh -huh. That's right. LA. Spectacular. It's SoCal, yeah. it's what it is. And, and, and then the SoCal weather. We love. Uh We're in the neighborhood right now. Oh, oh what? Now, Annabelle brought swords. 
Wow. Uh, we're talking about Paramount and Bellflower, where Annabelle Munoz grew up. We'll check back <laughs> with her in just a bit. Look That's, at that, like machetes. That was some skill right there. Yes, it is. Be careful. And just beautiful the yeah. color. And today is all about community, and we have Ontario in the house. I see some familiar faces. This lovely family, family Romualdo, is a loyal ABC7 eyewitness, one of the youngest reporters in LA County, and he came out to say hello. What do you think about these segments? This is a perfect way to support our local reporters. So come on out if you're in the area, Paramount. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be back in a little while. We are in the neighborhood today, talking about uh, Bellflower and Paramount, and that's where we find eyewitness news reporter Annabelle Munoz. It's where she grew up. She's out there live until 7 this morning at the pond near the intersection of Jackson and Paramount. Hey, Annabelle. Good morning, Philip. We have Paramount High School in the house. We also have the owners of Orchateria Rio Luna and Donas and Downey in the house. You guys have blown up. We have their social media coordinator here, Raul Ramirez. You're even moving because it's too small for you. How has the support been? Uh, we love the support. We're really happy to be here. And I just want to thank the community and businesses for um, always having our back here. And thank you to the city of Paramount. We love you. Thank you. We love you so much. And we also have Aaron Donay in the house from Altair Paramount. You do something pretty incredible. Talk to me about this local business you have. So we make a renewable fuel from uh, non-food grade feed stocks such as um, beef fat and vegetable oils and so we make jet fuel, biodiesels and um, various other products like thank that. You. So yeah. Thank you so much Aaron. And also the Paramount drive-in we have um, Darren Kurkowski. The, the drive-in took a 22 year hiatus. It came back in 2014. Where can we find it and what makes it so unique? We're right on the corner of Paramount and Rosecrans, right up the street here, about a, about a half a mile away. And again, initially opened it up in 1947. We took a 22-year intermission, and then we came back in 2014. It's been going strong ever since. Whole new generations of families are coming out, enjoying a drive-in for the very first time. A few of the things that the city of Paramount has to offer. Thank you so much for joining us, Philip and Leslie. We'll send it back to you, but we are not done in the city of Paramount. We'll be back. <laughs> All right. And a good morning in Paramount. We are back in the neighborhood this morning, checking out the hometown of our very own Annabelle Munoz. ABC 7 is in the neighborhood, and we have Paramount High School in the house. Big shout out to the Army JROTC, the football team. We've got the cheerleaders and the marching band right over here. We are back in the neighborhood this morning. Right today, we're checking out the hometown of Annabelle Munoz. She's live in Paramount at the Paramount Pond. Good morning, Annabelle. Good morning, Philip and Leslie. We are still out here in the city of Paramount, and I have two very special ladies with me here. I have my younger sister, Diana. How are you doing, sis? I'm good. What do you want to share with Philip and Leslie? You watch them all the time. Um, they're pretty great, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> I told her to say that. She's, that she's a little awesome. camera shy, but following similar <laughs> footsteps in TV production, hard worker, two jobs. And I have Gloria over here. We went to elementary school. We went to high school together. We went to college together. We studied abroad together. We lived in the dorms together. We had matching outfits in high school and college. Um, best friend here and surprised me. Glow, and you also led me to one of my favorite jobs, which was lifeguarding. You started it first. What did you love about doing that job together? Um, my favorite part was honestly the kids and the when I taught senior water aerobics. Those ladies held on to me for <laughs> dear life because they didn't know how to swim. And it was just so many memories, so fun, so motherly. It was great. Yeah, we had some really good times at, at the pool. And I will say one of the coolest gifts that you can give anyone, a child or an adult, is that life skill of learning how to swim. Ladies, anything else you want to share before we send it back to them? No, nope. she, she's more shy than I am. Nope. Yeah, they're both more shy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Leslie and Philip, I'll send it back okay. to you back in a little bit. Sure, Bell, sure. baby, I tell you what we want to know. Ask your best friend to tell us a funny story about you. Yeah, a little cheese man. Come on. Come on, come on. We need a little bit. 
Come on, right now, somebody's got a story. Me. Philip wants cheese me. Funny story about me, Gloria. You you are not censored. You can share whatever you want. Uh, Annabelle can't cook. She oh. burns oh. frozen biscuits in the microwave. <laughs> ah, there you go. All of our lunches. She also can't drive. Oh, she's telling everything. <laughs> there was a there was a big rig behind us once, and she literally. Just stop. All right, all right. <laughs> That's enough. I can't drive and I can't cook. We got it. She Not was ready with those at the <laughs> yeah, tip of her see? tongue. They just, just started oh, coming out. God That's bless what, you. There we go. Thank That's, you. You know what? We now have something that we can say to everyone. Yes. You burn biscuits in the microwave. Burn biscuits. I mean, in the, the microwave. used to it was you can't boil water. <laughs> right. Now it's burn biscuits you burn in the biscuits in the microwave. <laughs> yeah. We are in the neighborhood today, and we're talking about Bellflower and Paramount. And that's where Eyewitness News reporter Annabelle Munoz grew up, and she is out live at the pond in Paramount. Hey, Annabelle. Hey, Leslie and Philip. You met my sister earlier, but my mom made it out, a loyal ABC7 Eyewitness News viewer. She has a shout out. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Danny. Hi, Philip. All right. And my mom is actually a huge reason behind why I love dancing so much. And we have the Latinas Arts Academy right here. Take a look at these lovely ladies. You saw them earlier doing a dangerous but fun dance with machetes. And I have Daylene Perez who helps run this organization. Talk to me about what you do and how many members you have in the city. We have about 50 members, 50 dancers in the city. And then we're able to teach them and influence the Latino Arts Academy uh, culture through, you know, music, dance, and we do a lot of workshops for them, and it's open to all the public and here in the city of Paramount. So you were telling me earlier, we were watching the girls dance with the machetes. This is actually traditionally something the gentlemen do, yes. but you kind of mix things up. Why is that? Um, the reason is because like, women can do it too. We're all about the women empowerment, and we love that the girls can also do anything that's, that they want to do, that it, they set their minds to it. So if the guys can do it, so can we. Amen to that, <laughs> sister. And, and I think having the opportunity to perform uh, in front of crowds really helps them break out of their shell. What kinds of improvements do you see with, with children and young adults in terms of just their self-confidence through dance? Uh, a lot of uh, socializing, a lot of getting to know each other, uh, being able to open up and learn about each other's culture differences as well. Thank you so much, Daylene. So the Latinas Arts Academy, and we will send it back to you with this beautiful dance. And we still have uh, one more goodbye before we leave the city of Paramount here. It is beautiful. It, it is. is beautiful. Thanks, Love Annabelle. It. Tell your sister hi for me. <laughs> and your, your mom. mom. <laughs> we'll leave you with a shot from Paramount. Thanks to Annabelle Munoz and everybody who came out for our In the Neighborhood event this morning.